Hey everyone, good morning. I hope everyone's having a good day um, and you enjoyed the reflection challenge yesterday with your pictures. Um, today I'm gonna explain how to um, put your photos together and you have several options. And if you have a different idea, it's fine as long as you're able to share it with me. So um, most of you I'm guessing are going to put them in Google Slides. So again, your project details create, um, use 10 to 15 photos and they can be in color and black and white, whatever you decided. Um, using Google Slides or Canva, and then you're going to include your name as the photographer, um, the location and date, and why you took the photos and any notes. So I have a template here that I'm going to share with you. You are welcome to use this template or you can use your own, and then I'm also sharing mine with you. So um, I'll just show you part of mine quick, and I'm not going to go through the entire thing because um, you can view that on your own, I'll share it. So this is telling that it's daily life. Remington Ranch is kind of what we call our place. Um, and then it's in South Carolina, the date, and I'm the photographer. So this is telling um, the viewer why um, these pictures are what I was trying to record. And then through that, um, some of my pictures, I've identified if something is in it, like Remy or an animal, there aren't people in mine. Um, and then um, like a little, reason why or like kind of caption um so you can kind of go through some of them have two pictures um some have more information so it just depends on um what you want to show so i'll let you view mine um on your own and that is just an example yours does not have to look like this uh, <clears throat> so if you're using google slides i'm going to share this template that i'm using right now um, with you you can use it alter it change it whatever, everyone's getting their own copies. So you should be able to manipulate it how you want. Um, you don't have to use mine. You can choose a different one. You can go to Slides Carnival if you would like um, and choose your own and download it. Um, whatever you would like to do um, to make it interesting. I don't wanna look at 50, 75 of these that all look the same. Uh, <clears throat> so the template I'm sending you basically is like I just removed everything from mine so you can rearrange any of this I left starters on here for you but you can again take them out add to them um, delete things that aren't part of what you're doing um, you don't it doesn't have to say COVID-19 it can be whatever you want um, and then you're going to um, replace the images so on my computer screen if I tap on the picture the replace is going to come up here to replace what I want um, but I do have a screenshot <clears throat> of, um, of what um, you can do. So if you pull up a slide, if you select a slide on your iPad, if you tap where I have the picture and I put generic pictures in so you would know to replace them, if you tap on that, the blue boxes are going to show up and then this black bar will show up underneath and you're going to select replace. And then it's going to ask you if you want to take a picture from your camera roll. And of course, you're going to want it from your camera roll because you've already taken them. And then you're going to replace the picture. And then you can tap on it again and kind of move it around if it's not centered where you want. Now, if it's a horizontal picture, then you're going to choose one of my horizontal templates if you're using mine. If it's a vertical one, then you're going to choose a vertical one. Otherwise, it's not going to work on your image. So to replace the images, again, you're going to tap on it. The blue boxes will show up and then you're going to tap the replace down here. If you are working on a um, laptop or Chromebook like I am, then um, you're gonna do like I just did. I'm just gonna click on that and it's gonna say replace image and then I can replace it from wherever I have those stored, okay? So you're gonna swap out all of the pictures with your own, okay? Now I have just generic things in here. You change it how you want. You change the, the font, the color, whatever you would like to do. Um, and then of course the pictures. So let's say um, you, and I didn't include very many slides because you can just simply duplicate them. Um, if you're gonna duplicate a slide, if you tap on it off to the side um, on your screen, so this is a screenshot of my um, iPad. If I tap on the slide on the, um, the bar, then it's gonna pull up this black strip and then I can copy the slide and then I can, after I'm done with that, I can just hit paste and it will copy that slide. And then you can just use, replace your images. So that's how you're gonna copy and paste the right, the correct slides that you want. If there are too many in here included that you don't need, tap on it and then you're just gonna cut or delete them. Um, so hopefully that should make sense. Most of you have used slides before, 
but selecting on your, um, your actual slides is gonna bring this up and that's gonna change the slide. If you wanna change something within a slide, then while it's pulled up, you're gonna tap on the item on the slide itself to change what is on it. So hopefully that part makes sense. Okay, so again, any of these, these are just generic things that you'll tap on and replace. Um, let's say you need one with a vertical picture and you want to arrange them. So on your iPad, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to grab one of the slides and you can move them in whatever or order you would like. Um, if you don't need one with side by side pictures, then delete it. If you want to have a, like a little small image here on this one, keep it. If you don't delete that as well. And then at the end, I have a couple options for how you can include information at the end. You can um, use a quote, song lyrics, something else that might sum up this, or you might make a list of a couple of things that you want to remember from this time to kind of to record your thoughts or whatever. You can use both of them, one of them, delete the one you don't want. Uh, if some of you wanted to have your images within an iPad screen or use that, I left these templates in here. But again, if you don't need them, just delete these slides. And then this slide was the this presentation was designed ultimately ultimately by Slides Carnival, so we would just leave that in out of courtesy. Um, and this is clip art that you could clip on and add if you want to, but you certainly don't have to. As a documentary, you can keep it more simple if you'd like. Uh, <clears throat> so you're gonna go through. You're gonna make these your own. Um, if you would like to change the background, like right now in this one, I have a generic blue. Again, you're gonna tap on the um, slide on the side. It's gonna pull this up and then you can hit change background and you can switch it. If you're on your iPad or on your uh, Chromebook or laptop, you're gonna change the background up here. Um, and then when you do that, <coughs> it you can um, actually change it for the entire thing. So you don't have to change slide by slide, slide by slide. You can simply change the background and a hit apply to theme and that will apply to every page. Okay, um, I'm going fast, so the video is fast, but if you need to, you can play this back again or you can ask me. All right, and then lastly, for turning this in, if you are using my template, if you are putting your pictures in this template off to the side, then you can simply complete it and then it will be turned in. Remember, because I've already shared this with you. So whatever you do on here, I can see it's already shared in Classroom. But let's say you want yours to look completely different from everyone else's. Great. You create your slides, make them look how you want. Awesome. And when you're ready to share them with me, uh, <clears throat> up at the top, you're going to select share and export. You're going to turn on link sharing and you're going to copy the link. So link sharing, copy link. You're going to open up classroom and you're gonna attach using the link and then that way I can see it. Please do not email me, go through Classroom if you can. If it's messing up and you're frustrated, that's fine. Um, but I really would prefer you sign in, you add this through Classroom to make sure it doesn't get mixed in with the 800 emails I get every day. All right, so if you have questions, let me know. So again, you only have to do this part if you are using a different slide arrangement, which is great, fine, that you do th this is how you share it with me. Everyone else, if you are using my generic set, once you've made your changes, then it's gonna get shared back to me. Um, you can even change the title at the top with your name in it, um, but it will get shared back to me in Classroom because I've al we are already sharing that file. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, this um, assignment is not due until Monday, so even if you turn it in whatever time on Monday. So good quality photos that tell your story. Think about the way you're arranging them, the story you want to tell. Make sure you've included your name, date, and location, and that you turn it into Classroom. The nice thing about slides is whatever you do, it gets saved automatically. So if you just, if you don't know how to turn it in, it's already, it's saved. We'll just, I'll work with you to get it turned into me. If you are using Canva, let me know if you have questions after looking at it and doing that. Um, I figured most of you would be using slides since it's familiar. So um, that's why I'm spending the majority of my time on that. And then Canva, you can look at mine. And if you have questions on that, you can let me know individually because I don't think it is going to be many of you. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so good luck. Um, let me know if you have questions. You can always replay this video if you need to for directions. 
But again, you're replacing these pictures, tap on them, replace and put in your own and rearrange, delete the slides as you would like. And I am so looking forward to seeing what you came up with. And let me know if you have questions and I will see you on Monday.